What's happening guys? It's Shane here. So in this video, we are going to go over the top 10 stockbrokers and I'm really excited to talk about this subject because recently a lot of things have changed. It used to be that investing was really costly and difficult and it just wasn't something that a lot of young people would be able to do. And because of that, most people wouldn't start investing until they were in their 30s, sometimes even 40s. But recently things have changed so much. Companies have dropped the price of investing and they've made it ridiculously easy to the point that anybody can do it. There's one company that will invest your spare change for instance all you have to do is hook it up to your debit card and if something costs 85 cents it'll invest the rest of the 15 cents right into your brokerage account other companies use what are known as robo advisors to automatically invest for you and then there's another company called Google that created this algorithm that always makes me remind you to smash the like button no but all joking aside let's jump in right now so number 10 on this list is going to be e-trade and this is a pretty old company they were founded around 1982 they're also one of the first online brokerages in the United States, so you could make a good argument that they were one of the few companies that paved the way to make investing easy for everyone. Now, like most of the companies, they've taken away a lot of the fees and many of their trades cost zero dollars. They also have two really good mobile apps and they're actually known for options trading. Now, one thing that I included in this list is I always try to go for companies that are trying to basically create the entire customer experience when it comes to personal finance. And what I mean by that are companies that are getting into credit cards, getting into bank accounts, savings accounts, accounts, uh, investing, not just one thing, but they're actually giving the whole experience. And specifically, I like to include companies that are really good in every single area. So E-Trade offers a checking account that has unlimited ATM usage and any charges that you get charged on the ATMs, they'll actually reimburse you for those. They also have a pretty good savings account, although recently they did change the savings interest that you get uh, due to the current situation, which I won't mention because I want this video to stay monetized. So when I was researching for this video, I kind of noticed that E-Trade and Ally are very similar. It's almost like they're copying each other, but in my opinion, I think that Ally Invest is just doing it a little bit better. And so for that reason, I have to keep E-Trade at number 10. Now, number nine on the list is probably gonna be one that you haven't heard of before, and it's called Chase Sapphire Banking. And the reason you probably haven't heard of it is because you have to invest $250,000 with Chase in order to be considered for the service. But if you are able to sign up with the service, there are a ton of benefits. Now, I'm not gonna go over all the perks but one of them for instance is you get your own three by five deposit box at a bank you also get free customs checks ATM reimbursement fees and no foreign exchange fees if you use the debit card so I decided to put this on here because I do like the direction that Chase is going they offer really good credit cards um, I think out of all the physical banks they give some of the best perks but I know what you're thinking a lot of us probably don't have 250 grand just laying around but there is a rumor that you can get into this service without actually having two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in your checking or your investing account. You just have to contact them and ask them if there's anything that they can do. And then on top of that, if you do have a family member that is using this exclusive service, there is private family benefits and so it's much easier for you to get into the program that way. So this is one that's really good. Uh, the perks are amazing, but the reason I didn't rank it higher on the list is because not that many people just have $250,000 laying around. Now, number eight on the list is going to be Merrill Edge and this is backed up by the parent company of Bank of America. Now, now, Merrill Edge is known for a few different things. For one, they have the preferred rewards programs for their bank, which offers some of the best benefits across the entire industry. They're also known for really good customer service and they don't charge very much on their stock trades or ETFs. Now, the trading platform itself is called Merrill Edge Market Pro and it does have pretty good reviews. It's pretty easy to use overall. And you don't have to be a Bank of America customer in order to sign up with them. However, you will get more perks and more benefits the more services of theirs that you use. Overall, this is another example of a company that is trying to combine all of the different forms of personal finance and create a very good overall customer experience that just makes our lives much easier. And on top of that, they don't put very much of an emphasis on day trading, although they do allow those services. Now, I think you guys know my opinion on day trading. It's not a good idea for like 99% of people. And when I see companies that spend a ton of time and effort marketing day trading or stuff like that to beginners, that makes me not trust the company's integrity. Instead, they actually provide educational services on how to invest in index funds, mutual funds, and open up a Roth IRA. So I really do like the direction that this company is heading. I just think some of the other companies are doing everything just a little bit better. Number seven on the list might come as a little bit of a surprise and it's going to be TD Ameritrade. Now, this one actually ranks a lot higher on a lot of people's lists. Sometimes it comes out as number one. And TD Ameritrade is basically just the ultimate package for investors. Pretty much wherever you look, no matter whether it comes to market research, customer service, the $0 trading fees, 
they're really solid and competitive in all of those areas. Now, one of the reasons why they get so much hype, in my opinion, is because of the fact that the company has decided to go in the direction of day trading. They opened up what's known as the Thinkorswim platform, which is for day trading, and it's probably the best, if not one of the best platforms out there. And one thing that you should know about day trading is companies make a ton of money from it for reasons that would be way too much to get into in this video. But the thing about day trading is they know it's not good for most average people. So like I said, this shows a lack of integrity overall in the company, in my opinion. So this is just my personal opinion. When I see companies do this, where they focus on day trading or stuff like that, it just makes me lose trust in them. But at the end of the day, it's not a total deal breaker for me just because of the fact that they are meeting a demand that's already there in the market. This is still a really good option for other types of trading and I have friends that swear by them. But just overall in researching this company, I thought that the hype was a little bit overrated just because of their emphasis on day trading. Number six on the list is going to be Ally Invest and you might have heard of them because they also have a bank account called Ally Banking. So I really think what separates Ally Invest and Ally Bank is their mobile apps and their online platform is probably the best in the entire industry. And by the best, I mean it's one of the easiest for just about about anybody to use. So I can really tell whoever does the UI and the design for Ally really knows what they're doing because they make it very easy to navigate and use. They also have one of the best savings accounts around. Um, the savings interest rates are changing like every five minutes, so I'm not gonna say, but they're almost always one of the best out there. This is one of the newer companies, but you can see that they're dedicated to offering value and just delighting their customers. So when I see this and I see that they're basically expanding out to different platforms, I really like the direction they're going and I think that all of the companies are kind of heading in this direction, but some of them are just doing it a lot better than others. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to have your money in like five different places. That just makes it so much easier for you to get hacked. It's much better to just have your money with maybe one or two different companies at most. Now, on top of all those other things we talked about, they have a very large ATM network and they'll reimburse you up to $10 ATM fees every single month. They're really good right now and I see them getting better and better into the future. Maybe if I make this list again next year, they might even rank higher. Higher. Number five on the list is going to be Webull, and they are very similar to another app that just about everybody knows about, which is Robinhood. Now, what I really love about Webull and Robinhood, they're kind of very similar, is they have an emphasis on getting people to start investing. And Webull might be the best company out there at getting people to take that very first step of just investing their first $100. And the difference between someone starting investing at say 18, and even if they just invest a tiny little bit, versus them not starting to invest until they're in their 30s or maybe even their 40s, will literally be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars worth of difference. So yes, some of the other companies offer a better overall experience and I totally understand that you know they have banking they've got personal financial advisors you can talk to a lot of the time but overall Webull and Robinhood are the absolute best at getting people to start investing and sometimes just getting people to start is the most important step and honestly the next one on the list number four they're pretty much tied that's gonna be Robinhood now the mobile app with Robinhood is very easy to use it's uh, very user-friendly and just intuitive it's also ridiculously easy to sign up for. It probably would take you maybe five or 10 minutes at the most. And honestly, Robinhood, I have a ton of respect for because they basically changed the personal finance and investing game forever. They were the first ones to come in there and basically offer just ridiculously low trading fees, zero dollars for almost everything across the board. And because of that, they have probably gotten millions of people to start investing that wouldn't have otherwise. Before Robinhood came along, and you can look this up, brokerages were charging ridiculous fees like they would charge four dollars and 95 cents sometimes just for you to buy a stock so when they're charging that much unless you're buying a ridiculous amount of stock like hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of stock it's actually not even worth it so that means that the average investor probably wouldn't even get a good return on their investment then Robinhood came along made everything ridiculously cheap ridiculously easy and they changed the game forever now since then a lot of other companies have basically been forced to copy Robinhood's business model and you see almost all of the other companies charging you know zero or very low fees for different types of stocks that you can buy so Robinhood doesn't have as big of a competitive advantage as they used to before 
Robinhood is still probably one of the cheapest options out there, if not the cheapest, because of the fact that they don't really have any physical locations, and so their overhead costs are pretty low. And I'm not gonna go into too much detail here. You know, if you're a beginner investor, Robinhood is amazing for you to just make your very first trade. They offer incentives just like Webull does for you to actually start trading. They'll give you free stocks just for opening up an account. And because of that, I still think they are an amazing service and I totally respect them for what they've done. Now, number three on the list is going to start basically what I like to call the big three. And these three are all so good. It was really hard for me to even pick one or over the other because all three of them are so good. They're basically all tied for number one, but I did kind of have to pick one over the other just because of the fact that it is a top 10 video. Now, number three is going to be Charles Schwab. Now, Charles Schwab was founded way back in the 1970s, like 1973, and they're basically a full service brokerage that offers just about anything that you would want. Now, when it comes to the brokerage itself, they provide excellent stock research, planning, you know, anything that you could possibly want. If you wanna to talk to a person, you can. If you want to just you know use their interface and learn from it, you can do that as well. And I noticed in my research that there were a few companies that consistently put the customer first. Whether you're looking at credit cards, bank accounts, brokerage accounts, etc., there are a few companies that just across the board offered incredible service. And this shows me that they're not just trying to make a quick buck, like do some kind of marketing scheme and then they get you into it and then they you know, drop all of their good services that they were offering for that limited period of time. They're focused on the long-term game. They're focused on being the company that people want to invest with when it comes to personal finance and banking. Now, it was honestly really tough to find any weakness with Charles Schwab, but I did notice that their mobile app isn't the best mobile app out of the ones that I reviewed. And they're competitive with fees pretty much no matter what type of investing you're doing, whether it's day trading, ETF, stocks, index funds, you know, opening up a Roth IRA, they're very competitive with when it comes to the fees. I can tell why they're one of the biggest brokerages in the entire world. It's because they offer so much value to their customers. And I've seen them do this over an extended period of time. And what that tells me is this is a company that focuses on the long term and they have integrity. So they're not going to be a company that does some kind of little promo. And then once they get you hooked in, they change all of the fees and they, you know, they change this and they change that, which I've seen a ton of companies do in the last few years since I've started to really look into this stuff. But yeah, they're an excellent option. And honestly, when it comes to these top three, you're really just nitpicking. And at the end of the day, it kind of just comes down to which one you vibe with. Number two on the list is going to be an oldie but a goodie, Vanguard. Now, the one thing that you should really know about Vanguard is they were formed back in 1975 by the legendary investor, John Bogle. And this guy is basically the father of index funds and everyone on this channel knows how much of a fan I am of those. And when everybody else in the entire market was telling people that they should invest in hedge funds or they should try to, you know, uh, stock pick or do day trading or all that stuff that happened in the, you know, the 80s, John Bogle stood firm and he told people the best investment that you can make as an average person is in index funds. So he basically went the opposite direction of the rest of the market and he probably suffered quite a bit in terms of company profits for that. He probably could have made a ton ton more money just by telling people what they wanted to hear. This is a man I have a ton of respect for. From the very beginning, this company has had a lot of integrity. And you can see that this strategy really worked out for Vanguard because they're one of the biggest brokerages in the world right now, and they've lasted for many decades. Now, I have to admit, when it comes to user interface and their mobile app, they are lagging behind some of the other options just a little bit. They're basically like the boomers of the brokerage game. They're not really adjusting to modern times very well. But but their long history, their long track record of recommending the best types of investments to their customers makes me trust them so much. I would say out of all the companies on this list, I trust Vanguard the most. And I think that if they get with the times and they make sure to provide the full service, get good apps, get good user interface on their website, they will be number one on this list. But right now, the company that just impressed me so much, they really just blew my socks off no matter what area that I looked at was Fidelity and they are number one on the list. Now, Fidelity is much like Charles Schwab or TD Ameritrade where they just have 
everything. They've got literally everything that you could possibly want. They've got the zero dollar stock trades. Their researching technology is amazing. Now, like I said before, these three are pretty much tied, but if you put a gun to my head and made me choose, I would have to say Fidelity is the winner right now. They've just got everything going for them. And out of all the companies, I trust them the second most behind Vanguard. They provide ridiculous value to their customers, whether you're looking at credit cards, they've got one of the best credit cards out there. You're looking at bank accounts and savings accounts, they've got some of the best of that out there. You're looking at, you know, brokerage accounts, they're very high on the list when it comes to brokerage accounts. Every single area you look, they're just knocking the ball out of the park. I'd say Fidelity has one of the most user friendly apps and overall interface out of all the different companies. You know, I've been using Fidelity for a while now, and I'm extremely happy for their services. I've used many of the ones that were on this list, and I'd have to say Fidelity has had the best overall experience. And then on top of that, it doesn't seem like they push day trading or any of that crap. I think they do offer it, but they don't really push it on their customers. It's just something that is there if their customers want it. They also put a ton of emphasis on index funds, which again, I've explained why. That makes me respect them and trust them all the more. It just seems like overall, they have a track record of delighting their customers over the long run. And that shows me that the direction their company is heading is a long-term direction where they just want to give the best possible service. This is probably not going to be one of those companies that makes a ton of money, gets a bad reputation, and then they end up getting bought out by another company a few years later. And I can see that they're trying to integrate everything together as well, from bank accounts to credit cards to investing to, you know, money management and just all of that in general. They're trying to integrate that together and just create the best possible overall experience for the customer. So if they keep heading in this direction, they keep providing such an incredible experience, I would not be surprised if they remain number one on this list. But anyways, check out my videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc., or your experiences with these companies. Thank you so much, and bye for now.